I'm a Christian in politics who's unashamed of asserting my Christian faith as part of my political calling. It is this faith and this belief in God's power to transform difficult situations into beacons of hope that has animated my vision for me moving Ghana to a situation beyond aid and putting the country onto the road of self-reliance, sustained progress, and prosperity. Our march to a brighter future is underpinned by our firm attachment to a governance system that respects individual human rights and individual liberties, the rule of law, and the principles of democratic accountability. This faith is also the motivation for one of the major projects which I have described as a priority of priorities that we're undertaking in the country. This is the construction of the National Cathedral of Ghana, which first brought us to this venue three years ago in February 2019. The National Cathedral addresses a missing link in our nation's architecture by providing a formal space for the religious activities of the state. Designed by the iconic global Ghanaian architect, David Ajay, who designed the National Museum of African American History and Culture here in Washington, DC. The National Cathedral provides an interdenominational space for worship and will serve to insert God at the center of our nation building efforts. We've integrated a Bible museum and biblical garden as part of the project dubbed the, biblical, the Bible Museum of Africa and Biblical Gardens of Africa, they extend the National Cathedral Project, which will transform Ghana, over 70% of whose population are self-proclaimed Christians, into a major center of Christianity in Africa. 